a thread by Soul War. Some great picks from Tuesday night in Portland, Oregon, when the U.S. Marshals challenged Antifa's control of the streets around 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The person shooting in the footage is an Antifa journalist who said this was U.S. Marshals attacking peaceful protesters who are refusing to disperse, vandalizing property, harassing motorists, and assaulting police and passers-by. Tear gas deployed. This wing of Antifa never film or edit out all their violent antics and are only there to film the police response as unprovoked. Every single person here knows they are providing cover for violence and destruction on Portland's streets. Some of them are so fanatical or mentally ill. They aren't deterred by the gas or repeatedly being hit with pepper balls, to be accurate. Marshals shoot at the street to release the pepper not directly at you. This female Antifa with a skateboard had to be forced back. This is a, another journalist kicking a tear gas grenade back at the marshals. Dozens of grenades are thrown as the mob is pushed back. The purpose of this confrontation is to challenge Antifa, who've been running amok for weeks. The man on the right in the Alpenflage pants is an Antifa leader. Alpenflage, I guess that's this. He's calling for his people to fall back as he knows any arrests may end up in federal court. The mob withdraws. The marshals are screamed at every single step of the way. Tons of verbal abuse. Unlike what I've seen previously, there's a hysterical edge to the, the rioters' voices. Antifa are not used to being pushed. Get the fuck out of here becomes the most common refrain as the marshals advance. They arrive at an illegal street barricade. Many of these barricades used to stop, deny traffic are comprised of anything Antifa can find, including stolen property. One barricade I saw had ovens and sinks stolen from a nearby looted eatery. This one is mostly signs and placards. The marshals clear it aside as the mob howls at them. The marshal on the far right has a face shield on his gas mask tinted black. He is almost certainly used in undercover work or is assigned to the local office. Antifa in recent days has doxxed federal agents in retaliation for their presence on Portland's streets. How are these lowlifes getting such protected info? I've no idea, but now post this for no reason whatsoever. Mayor Ted Wheeler tweeted 17 hours ago and four hours before this tweet, a number of people have asked if I know DHS leadership is in town and if I'm going to meet with them. We're aware that they're here. We wish they weren't. We haven't been invited to meet with them. And if we were, I would decline. Another tweet from a mayor that has allowed a declared terrorist group to run wild on his streets for over 40 nights. Mayor Ted Wheeler tweets, this is clearly a coordinated strategy from the White House. It is irresponsible and it is escalating an already tense situation. Remove your heightened troop presence now. One of the Antifa journalists stupidly decides to challenge the marshals as she attempts to explain X reason they need to stop what they're doing and she's inundated with pepper spray, the Alpenflage Antifa leader approaches to rescue her. He's not wearing any protective gear at all and has clearly some form of training. The tear gas and pepper spray has no effect on him at all. 
go, he shouts at the frantic woman. Since tear gas and pepper balls hadn't got her to move, the next step was an arrest. Last night, all the Antifa I saw were from, hang on, sorry. All the Antifa I saw were in Eugene, Oregon, at a Black Lives Matter unity rally, where they blocked streets in a kind of mobile rally. They were avoiding the marshals. I'm waiting to see what happens tonight. Currently, there are protests at the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office in Portland. Uh-oh, there's a lot of support money on the street across from the Justice Center. <gasps> Free food and water, snacks, gear, mostly helmets are being passed out. They don't do this unless they're going to mount a significant quote unquote rally, read riot. At the sheriff's office, a crowd has gathered. Ooh, look at that crowd. We may see Antifa rioters trying to split law enforcement response between two riots later tonight. How PPB, Portland Police Bureau, I think, and the marshals respond in the next three hours will be critical. At this point, I have to stress this. Every person wearing black clothing after 40 days of this knows Violent agitators are using them as cover to attack police and destroy property. The PPB has erected a fence and cleared the tents. Here's the park across from the courthouse. Antifa has been using it as a toilet since they've utterly destroyed the park's public restrooms. I doubt the fences will last the night. Just now, at the sheriff's office, someone is trying to provoke the deputies by shining a strobe light into their eyes. This is often a tactic used to blind you before other Antifa hit you with bricks and bottles. Sheriff's office are not reacting as the crowd chants and at least two people blind them with strobe lights. It's only 9.33 p.m. Pacific time Already a large crowd has gathered at the PPB. Hmm. Already a large crowd has gathered at the PPB. Sorry, guys. At the PPB Justice Center. I'm getting the feeling Antifa intends to go on the offensive against the feds and PPB. There are definitely agitators in this crowd at the sheriff's office. The mob's mood is ugly. The chanting and screamed insults are rising in intensity. Night owls can watch live here. This was 11, years, uh, 11 hours ago, so link in the description. Marshals are pushing the hell out of Antifa right now. All right, PPB came out about 45 minutes earlier, and the mob was unimpressed. They know that PPB has been completely neutered and the mayor and by the mayor and the city council anyone arrested will be quickly released the problem for antifa is that the ppb portland police bureau are backing the u.s marshals it's about 15 minutes after midnight when the marshals exit the courthouse as the mob focuses on them unleashing torrents of abuse Unmoved, they link up with the Portland police as the rioters engage in street theater. Quit your job, go home, and beat your wife, etc. Antifa isn't liking the marshals one bit. As I've said before, their numbers are small. There's about 300 of them tops, 200 enablers support with 100 hardcore violators. Here, every night, running and ruining Portland streets, in running battles with the Portland police. U.S. Marshals are changing that. Since hardcore Antifa number about 100 with about 200, or, you know, or in 12 of the most violent and destructive are in federal custody, it's serious business. They're facing years in prison with no parole. Mayor Wheeler ensures they're released quickly by the Portland police to keep the chaos going, and he needs to be able to blame Trump. So, the marshals are here to restore order. 
They're doing this by pushing and challenging Antifa, not just at the courthouse like before. This sends a message back to Wheeler and his brown shirts. Order will not be abandoned. Things happen quickly. This Antifa tries to bear spray an officer. It's obviously not effective as they are all wearing gas masks. The point is to instigate a police response against the mob so that they can claim a cop riot descended upon poor, peaceful protesters. Another Antifa member tries to hide what his comrade just did with his umbrella, but it's too late. Here's the Antifa leader from last night engaging in street theater with the marshals. He was just inadvertently hit by that blast of bear spray. He takes a few moments to recover. Ugh, my eyes! Marshals, who saw what happened, are moving up to push the mob back. The Antifa leader has traded in his alpenflage pants for a stylish pair of puke green jeans. The marshals tell him to vamoose or be arrested. The Antifa leader knows what's happening next, so he begins to back away. Okay, there he is, you can see him. He decides to stop and debate the finer points of Plato's Republic with the marshals. As another agitator approaches, yelling insults. Pepper balls are fired at their feet as Antifa begins moving back. Marshals and the Portland police push Antifa back one block, then retire to the Justice Center and courthouse. Antifa consoles themselves by taking the fencing to use as illegal barricades and start their nonsense all over again. Thank you very much for listening. We will come back as Soul War continues to update us.